Hi everyone, welcome to the podcast. Uh, Hello. <laughs> such a polite guest. We have a very polite guest. <laughs> Hi ji, namaste ji. Hello, namaste. namaste. Hello, hi. This Namaskar. Is, this is Vivek Tejuja who has individually read more books than everybody here combined. Uh, okay. And uh, Vivek, Vivek doesn't man. socialize. Vivek doesn't have any friends or hobbies or Thanks. life goals or <laughs> purpose thank you, thank in you life. Thank you so much. I don't oh. watch TV shows. All Vivek does is he reads, which is why. Yes. He's on the spot on this show, even though he's not very good looking. Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> very nice. No boys comment. Leave your numbers down. I will contact you. Okay. This is Sharon. Namaste. And uh, today's topic is shitty literature. Shitty literature. Classic. Shitty literature. Because as it has been established, I hate saying nice things about anything. So yes. we thought, you why like not just go with shitty literature? Mm. I want to say Save something, time. but I'll say it later. Say na. No, 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 later, later. Say na. No, no, later. Kitabu ka karan johar. Fuck. That's all what is needed in my life. <laughs> that is like Thank low. you. So, okay. we are going to talk about shitty literature today. And there's a lot of it in the world. Yeah. God knows. Literature. There's some good literature also, but most of it is shitty. It's terrible. No, most of it is not shitty. Not most, most of, of it. it. Not <laughs> most of yeah, it. Yeah, most classics are shitty. Sorry. Uh, no, not yeah. most. But most. No. Most. Is. It's a product of its time, right? Like. Yeah, exactly. Uh, classics are shitty now because. But not all of them is, again. Yeah, because the language is tough evolved, to follow. Yeah. The language is evolved. Yeah, but, but if it's only about but language, no, sorry. No, I mean, there are a lot of classics. Yeah. But it's not about language alone. Alone. I mean, but what was path breaking then is no longer path breaking. Obviously. I think also at so, that time a lot of literature was preachy. Yeah. No, I don't so agree. That, I that don't agree. No. What do you mean by a lot of literature? No, but you can't Give say examples. at that time. This is like. Give examples. Years and years. Like Leo Tolstoy was very preachy as an author. Yeah. Like War and Peace was so. War preachy. and Peace was ghatia. That I agree. But what about Anna Karenina? That was superb. It, uh, it broke a lot of, uh, you know, the society conditioning and ground rules and. So on and so forth. But a true feminist novel also might I, I add. I, I, I respectfully disagree. In the end, she suffered. In the end, she paid for stepping everybody suffered. out. In, in the end, everyone suffered in that novel. Not only she. So on that level, everyone is an equal. Yeah, in that but novel. she was like the queen of suffering. In that but that's novel. because okay, the time it was. She's like then. it so was she, like she stepped out of line and she paid for it dearly. So it was okay. You don't think it's difficult to read it? No, Anna Karenina is not. War and Peace is so. Oh my God. Just what keep it as a door stopper really and don't look picky. at it. That's all. Like George R. R. Martin's books. I'm sorry. I know everybody loves Game of Thrones, but it's not Game of Thrones. It's a song of Ice and Fire. Ice and, Fire. and if you don't know that, then you don't deserve to read him. Now that's you're just no, no, no. I'm just being very. Yeah, I am because that's what people do. Have you read a Game of Thrones? That means just the first book, right? Wait, so but do you like there. George? Are you, you shitting on like George Martin, R. R. Martin? Are you, you shitting like on his readers? Both. Or are you like shitting on the TV show? Both. All I think three. you're shitting on the all TV three. show. I'm shitting Why? on all three. Why do you not like because, it? Because A, I think there's way better fantasy fiction out there. Okay. Give I, me an example. I think even Tolkien is a little better than him, though I don't even like Tolkien. I hate Tolkien, by the yeah, way. Yeah, alright, so do I. But if you read Silmarillion, which is a brilliant book, better than Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and everything else that he's ever written. Yeah, Pukke Pada Tune Silmarillion. Are because it was <laughs> it was crazy. That's my point. It is so fucking good. Like first fifty pages to part, but fill to shit. Okay then. All right. We'll we'll agree to disagree. We like all things. Tolkien is a is a very but, very okay, good writer. But having said that, sorry yeah. to interrupt. What I like about George R. R. Martin is the worlds. And it's great, and that's all. And some. So characters. you don't agree with the storytelling, story but you telling, agree with the world that he. Storytelling. Okay, my only problem with him there is he just goes round and round and round. But and isn't that the, the core of a fantasy that you are supposed to go and immerse yourself but in different kitna, worlds? Nahin? No, different worlds is fine, but going round and round with the plot is concerned. At least you will have to but end it somewhere. But that's exactly what well, Tolkien does. Well, Tolkien yeah. just goes and wells on one so point. So that's why I don't in like all Tolkien fairness, either. Achha, you don't like, she likes Tolkien. In all fairness to what Vivek is saying, um, book four of Song of Ice yeah. and Fire is awful. Like it's genuinely, it's awful. So is book five. The Dance right? of Dragons. Book five is the nice. Dance of Dragons. No, book four, Feast, book a feast, feast for, for Crows. Feast of, yeah. Everybody who's read the books will agree. Yeah. A Feast for Crows I think is, that wasn't his best moment. 
but it doesn't say anything more like in totality i think george r r martin is a genius because yeah. he can do things that yeah. i think i yeah. can only aspire yeah. to do right yeah. like all his ghost writers are geniuses i is doesn't he will, no he will with the sixth book <laughs> i'm sure so no so <laughs> i think what what went wrong Don't with don't die george r r martin okay. what went wrong with book 4 was that he took his readers for granted he took it for granted this that the fact that yeah, yeah that he carried them through to through three incredible books he thought that now i can do whatever i want and get away with it but you can't when you've created something that immersive and people are that invested and suddenly you move away from the main characters yeah. and take the narrative to others people are naturally going to get pissed so that's what he and did that's, that's exactly all he did happened. i mean it was he was just you know well i mean if you if you if as a as a person as an as a writer you sort of invest all your life in building this universe you will at some you point you want to explore it yeah. a little bit you know um, fair i get that yeah. it, okay fine you know what honestly i just feel that it's sometimes too much of a drag like with the 5th ah, okay. book i just couldn't reach till the end yeah. i was like but i tried and i tried and i soldiered on because listen i've come all this way i've read 400 pages might as well finish yeah it. what okay. the hell was that quentin uh, kya tha wo sab martel I mean, not wasn't needed it wasn't needed but it was there <laughs> anyway so we have forgotten to ask you one important question which what is, are you reading right now yeah one book we wait one, okay, book, one, okay. Book, okay. one book okay one book okay one book I'm reading four, but I'll talk about one. One, yeah. It's a book called Murder in Mahin by Jerry Pinto. Okay. Okay. And it's a it's a thriller. It's mm. a it's actually a murder mystery. I mean, if Murder in Mahin was a comedy, I would yeah. have been really shocked. You know, like murder. Eh, hey, chill lah, abhi. It's a murder. And, it, and what I like about it is it's 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 based on the LGBT theme. Okay. Okay. And uh, it's also a personal story over there. So I I'm really enjoying that book. That's. Okay. one book Thanks. murder in my murder in my by jerry pinto so do check it out cool so um so let's start with i think a positive note what about all the the most memorable classic you've ever read or yeah. memorable classics that you still carry with you till day no see memorable classics which i still i loved pride and prejudice yeah me too i, I loved Austin, it i don't Austin. know i think had maybe i had to read it in school loved every bit of it loved yeah it. i think i think something about it i don't know it's endearing right it's very endearing but it's very witty It's very witty, yeah. And and she's very very bitchy, so to say, yeah. almost. And I love that. Yeah. I love that. She has a very matter of fact, dry sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. 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 And she's not trying to insert it, but that's just the whole thing. But it's there. Yeah. This yeah. is like sudden sarcasm, which really works well. Yeah. Like even even the even the <coughs> minor characters in the book, like the parents and 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 you know Bingley's sister. Yeah. And Darcy's uh uh who the aunt. Aunt. Yeah. So yeah. funny, hilarious. So I think that's why See, I love original dowager I think. Yeah, original <laughs> dowager. Oh yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Just like yeah. true. And and that's why I love Uh, also it's i think a timeless story it's it's yes. it's it's just sort of it's the perfect love yeah. story it it's reinvented over and over again exactly in multiple formats yeah. but you never lose the original which is and, this, and, I think. and indians can relate to it even more yeah oh yeah, yeah. Like absolutely how? so much yeah so much that is the post colonial hangover the, that <laughs> that is it but that's why the bride and prejudice movie i mean how many oh, bride and prejudice that, adaptations have we seen yeah, yeah, so yeah. many but we'll go back and watch them did you watch yeah. the one with uh, kieran knightley Can I tell? Yeah, yeah. Did you know that there is a zombie version yeah. of yes. Pride and Prejudice? Pride and Prejudice and zombies. Yeah. I want to see it. Has anybody seen I've it? I've read the book and it's brilliant. So, really? Yeah. I, really I love it. it. I've heard it's really. The funny. swashbuckling Elizabeth Bennet killing zombies. Swashbuckling zombies. And zombie saving killer. Darcy from zombies. I'm like, there you go. So Darcy plays what? Sold. Darcy mm-hmm. plays a wuss, as he did in the in yeah. the original Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Nothing different. Darcy was a wuss. <laughs> Bingley was a wuss. Like, let's not talk about the men in Pride and Prejudice. Let's talk about the women. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The women were strong. Feminism and, and zombie is great. <laughs> It's like Resident Evil but old. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's. <laughs> Resident Evil is shitty, but, but anyway. Frock. But frock. Frock. But frock. Frock. Corset. Okay. So um, moving on. Ah, uh, my my pick of a classic uh, novel that I love, and I think. It has feminism in common with Pride and Prejudice. It's Gone with the Wind. Ah, yes. I love that. I yeah. love Gone with the Wind. Oh my God, what a book! What a book! Yeah, and I, book. that was also my introduction to like the American Civil War and all. I didn't know all of that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Right, like that. That isn't something we study in history. We study about the American independence struggle, but we don't know about the Civil War. And the Boston Tea Party. Yeah, and the Boston Tea Party. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Boston Tea Party. But we don't learn about the Civil War, yeah. right? So actually, Gone with the Wind was my introduction to the American Civil War. After which yeah. I read other books on Civil yeah. War, like researched it and stuff because it was so interesting. And I couldn't. I'm like racism divided the whole country. Yeah, like it, it did. was it slavery. Did. 
for slavery the whole country fought a war with like within itself like, i thought that was amazing but having said that um scarlett o'hara is one of the best female characters yes, ever ever, ever, ever created she's on another level altogether dude, yeah again it's like you know um you've grown up reading books where the women are it, you've read very black and white characters yeah. right gone in the wind was it's like true. one of those like when, when i was a teenager and i i've read what nancy drew hardy boys uh, some jeffrey archer or simi sheldon like that phase that suddenly you're presented with this character who's like super complex contradicts very herself layered, constantly yeah, she's not simplistic yeah. Yeah, yeah so incredibly gray selfish but has all of these like redeeming qualities and just like the things that she does to keep the yeah. farm keep her yeah. Uh, ranch yeah. Yeah. yeah within you know the family and stuff and then and again like, you know that she's not going to let go of ranch she's not yeah she's not going and to let go and then there is this incredible love story and yeah. and of course everybody knows about the end where yeah. he walks away and you're like fuck but you know what it's right like what he did was so i thought that book that book just like it's completely just, blew yeah, my mind and also yeah. a book. brilliant movie great i think yeah. uh, oh my god great movie really yeah. and clark gable clark what gable, like yeah. perfectly yeah. cast yeah. perfectly yeah. cast yeah. perfectly yeah. visualized as well So uh, my uh, so I love Shakespeare mm. and uh, <laughs> I love Shakespeare. Though. I love Shakespeare, but not all of it. <coughs> I hate it? his comedies. So well, I actually quite like his comedy. Okay, okay, but uh, so uh, my first Shakespeare that I read was Macbeth, and uh, unlucky for me, I read it in the sixth grade, and that is I think the worst time you can discover Shakespeare because you don't understand it. I was like, "Ye teen which is kaise aagi? Ye kya ho raha hai? Ye metaphor me ko nahi samajh aa raha hai." And you got bored. And I got really bored, and it's only in college that I rediscovered Shakespeare again because I didn't have a choice; I had to study it. Mm. But that's the time when I reread Macbeth, and I understood the layers that this guy built, mm. the worlds that he built, and I feel like everything in modern romance or even in modern tragedy, everything is inspired by Shakespeare. And I think yeah. that, for me, as a writer or even a reader, is just really inspiring. And his plays uh, were brilliant. So. Which is why I really love Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. It mm. was yeah. so lovely. It was such I a beautiful. I prefer the movie though. But My uh, Fair Lady. I prefer the movie. But just yeah, but the play. It was so like it no, was incredibly I, sweet and short and lovely. I think. Can I be Shakespeare? Ki Vicky Bida summary is pretty. अच्छी है, जल्दी खत्म होती है, कोई यूथ दाऊ वगैरह कुछ आता नहीं है। हाँ वो भी है। Oh God. नहीं but. Full words है. But I understand why people don't like him. Why don't people because, like him? I because, want to know because, why. Because okay, because like you can't understand what's going on. It's in it's terms very of difficult. Language? Yeah, in terms of language, it's very yeah. difficult. You know, but that, that, that's the thing about language, right? It evolves, and at that time, he was a contemporary. He actually simplified language. And you know what? Sorry to interrupt you, but there's this uh, series of books called William uh, Shakespeare and Star Wars. Yeah. And there are three parts. I'm not kidding. And they are super. What? And they are funny as fuck. You must read them. Okay. Uh, William Shakespeare. They are funny f. <laughs> yeah. William Shakespeare's Star funny Wars. F. It's That's brilliant. That's fascinating. There are three volumes out, and it is so funny with illustrations. You will love them. Wow. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I will read them. Yeah. yeah. No, Who's I written them. Uh, no, well, see, I don't remember the name. Yeah, but but it's but, a great but, recommendation. but it's, Pick but it it's, it's great. Just read them. I think um, Shakespeare. <laughs> I think the stories need to be told, but yeah. I feel like in their uh, existing form, they are tough. Yeah, to they're tough to consume. But yeah. but that's why it's a it's a classic, right? Even today, there are modern interpretations, there are modern versions of the movies, and they work. the movies, and they all work because the themes all are so work. classical. Yeah. There are abridged versions of Shakespeare plays. There are like these uh, reimagined yeah. uh, versions, yeah. which yeah. I think we should, in fact, uh, are there any more? We should recommend oh, those. Oh, there are there are lots. Because there, I don't think anybody can read yeah. uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare now. anymore. Yeah. yeah. But I understand like that unless you have to. Yeah, unless yeah, you have unless to. Unless you yeah. have to. Yeah. Unless you have. Like Romeo and Juliet has been done to death. Yeah. Right? Oh like God. Like from Kayamat se Kayamat ta. To Ram Lila. To Ram Lila. To everything. Everyone has touched it. Ram Lila was like uh, you eat a rainbow erotic, cake uh, and then you vomit it out. Erotic Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Ram Lila. Me thoda A L James bhi aata tha to acha lagta. Yeah. Wo fifty shades of a little bit. Oh, sab ho gaya. Sab ho gaya. It was color. everything. Ram Lila. <laughs> 50 shades 50 shades of rajasthan it's basically 50 shades <laughs> uh, let's not talk about rajasthan <laughs> <laughs> or yeah let's not talk about his movies but, moving but on but <laughs> coming back to this um, vivek if you had to give three recommendations on these like shakespeare modern day shakespeare uh, inspired interpretations or yeah no, no, i've, I've actually just read shakespeare's star wars okay which That's i absolutely love man. there's an other book but it's not a modern in- interpretation but it's called Sha- mrs shakespeare okay. by robert P Y E, and it is talking about Shakespeare's wife, of course, 
and from her point of Gwyneth view. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you just killed it, didn't you? You just had to do that. <laughs> no, let's just no, remove so that image. Miss, Miss what happened? Did they have a conscious uncoupling? Uh, <laughs> no, but Mrs. Shakespeare also is, inventing language. Is brilliant Gwyneth because, Paltrow. because she thinks uh, at some point that Shakespeare <laughs> is gay, and she's talking about wow. her life with him. And it is so well done. It is very simple, very easy to read. 200 pages for those who don't like big books. And yeah, so it and works. And they cannot lie. And they cannot lie. <laughs> yes. Okay then. Yes. <laughs> so you're saying he stuck his Shakespeare in... Anyway. No, um, no, no, no. Yeah, let's no. not go there now. <laughs> so all you should have done the LGBT <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anywho. So what about uh, what about the shittiest ones you've ever read? Shittiest classics you've ever read? Oh my god. Uh, now see, I love Steinbeck, but I only love East of Eden. Mm. I hated The Grapes of uh, Wrath and I hated that book so much. Yeah. I wanted to puke all over it. It's a terrible book. So, yeah. Why didn't you puke all over it? Mm, well, I had good food. What was wrong with it? What like irked you to that level? <coughs> because, again, right, there's so much misery. I mean, I like books that are depressing. I really do. But so much. Like they don't yeah. have a ray of hope at all. Mm, basically, I'm like, Abhi nahi hota. I can't read it. It's Grey's um, Anatomy, but a book. Uh, Grey's Anatomy is fun. There's sex in it. This one didn't even have that. Oh God. So it's okay. Okay, little bit. It's it mixed dreamy and mixed steamy. I don't need anything else. But Grapes of Wrath didn't have that either. So let's not go there. Mm. I don't like Charlotte Bronte. I hate ah. Jane Eyre. I want to go and. I, w I wish I could go back in time and kill her so that she wouldn't wow. write Jane Eyre. I hate it so much. So, yeah, I, I hate. You like Charlotte Brown? You know, no, I don't like Charlotte Brown. Yeah. After I read yeah. Jane Eyre, I thought she'd come out with Jane Water, Jane Heart, Jane Earth, and there'd be a Captain Jane. Oh my god, Captain That didn't happen. I, I just don't and know how to react. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like a cotton like, aware. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Good. That, that, that's why I don't like it. It was, it was that bad. But there was another adaptation of Jane Eyre mm. uh, from the locked mad wife called White Saga Soci by Jean Rhys, mm. a French writer. And that's, and that's a very good book. Okay. So, yeah, so maybe you could read that and skip Jane Eyre. Interesting. So, I'm writing Captain Jane. You so know, there was this thing that was happening earlier on Twitter and I contributed to it called Too Long Didn't Read. Mm. TLDR ah. hashtag. Mm. Okay. So, about classics that were too long, so ah. didn't bother reading, but I'm, we were going to summarize it in one line. Oh, wow. And write wow. bad things about it that you didn't, <laughs> you know, which you didn't like. You didn't like the book at all. Huh. So, things like that. Like, which other classics don't you like? I hate Charles Dickens. Ah, I me think too. Me he, too. His his me biggest too. dick move was Great Expectations. No, like listen. Oh, okay, okay, listen. Dick move. I love Great Expectations. I hate all the other stuff. What? Yeah. I hate okay, great no, no, no. Hello, what please. What is happening in that book? Gwyneth Somebody Paltrow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I she guess. is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. No, everywhere. Everywhere is. there is a Gwyneth. <laughs> people must fall. <laughs> Literature must die. No. <laughs> what why? is happening? Hello, I tell you, you know what happened with you and that book, right? You had great expectations from it. Dick yeah, move, Dickens, dick move. Why, why do you even bother? But, no, but Great Expectations was why? fun but reading what, it. What, what happened? Why? Because why? Explain to me. Okay, because, okay. Great, great, great Expectations. May I? Yes, please. Because I love Miss Havisham. I think that character oh, was okay. kick-ass. I mean, really, find another character like this in literature. You can't think about her. You can't think about any other character like her. Well, not not no. when you put us in the spot. No, because I'm because you say you don't like the book. I'm just saying why I love it, because of her. See, you talk about ray of hope, right? This was this epitomized that there was no hope in this. No, book. Estella. Like, what is okay. he doing? Why? Estella was another brilliant character. Pip, I didn't like. I didn't care for. I couldn't empathize at all. I'm like. I like. That's him. the point. I like. Pip, Pip was like, what? What is he doing? What, but, but yeah, I liked him, which is why I was like, why is no? But the writing. But the writing was Where's good. The arc? The writing wasn't bad at all. So there is writing as a technique and then there is story. The, the story, story was like brilliant. The story was brilliant. Classic rags to riches, falling in love, breaking yeah. his heart, getting back, some hope at the end. It was great. The anti-hero, so to say, in the form of Havisham. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Hmm. I don't know. I have a different perspective. But what I don't is, which is the shitty... Dickens. Uh, David Copperfield. Oh my god. Orphan. Some of them in school. They didn't study. What? No, matlab, CBSC. The number SSC. of times David Copperfield got beaten up. Uh -huh. I was like, oh my god. Oh, what, what? This shouldn't even be in literature. I think, I think Khaled Hosseini was inspired by Charles Dickens. Oh dear and then god. Hence, he Khaled wrote his tomes. Yeah. 
of uh, just doom and depression. Kai I mean, I love Kai Khalan said. I don't, but that's okay. Kai Trana was again emotionally manipulative. I loved Thousand Splendid Sun. I love it. It won't end. Like but I loved it at that point, but now I cannot. I cannot bring myself to read it. I love it the mountains and the mountains echo. That's the, the only book the I love. I don't. I have and that. I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I'll read it. Yeah. But Thousand Splendid Suns had a lot more nuance than Kai Trana. Kai Trana was like a Daniel Steele novel, but slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was yeah, exactly. It was, it was like it was what the that. hell? Like I will position everything in such a way that this hero. Keeps getting like clobbered like every ten minutes. Yeah. Like you know, oh, that I, I literally after a while I could predict it. Ha, now his mom will die. Now his. No, no, no. This is his son. This is his son. I have guessed it. Correct. Correct. And now he has to like do something horrible. Shitty classic. 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 No, I don't know. Even if somebody were to rewrite it today, huh. like Peter Ackroyd did, he wrote, really? he did a translation, not translation, but he rewrote the Canterbury Tales, and I still couldn't read it. So I think I just <coughs> have a mind block okay. with some classics, like we all do. Yeah. Like yeah. we just can't pick it up, like Ulysses by James Joyce. <laughs> oh my God! I was like, what is this? Yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah. I, I Ulysses was not happening. My I used to read a lot of young adult, and my dad was all like, "Kya ghaan wat se." He still says Please that to, to me. Please to be translating. I'll yes. I'll translate. Okay, thank you. Shit, you read basically. His. You read shit. So he took me to the <laughs> Strand book sale. Okay, which used to be such a huge thing ten years ago. All enough. classics. The same. No, it's the same classic now. Also that they are selling. <laughs> so I went there with much hope and all, and I picked up the Iliad because I'm like, wow, look at me. I'm like, I'm yeah. going up. Yeah, I read the Iliad. I didn't go through page, beyond page one. It was it was impossible. I'm like, yeah, this impossible. is just a collection of words. Yeah, that's like, true. What? I don't you understand. Have to be, I think some happening. sort of an arrived human being to understand what's happening. Like, no, yeah, yeah it's just this, with too many cultural yeah, language oriented. Right? I, mean, I, I, I had, I understood how stupid I was because okay, of Iliad. You don't like uh, uh, Scott Fitzgerald. Yes. Fitzgerald as well. So two classics that I want to shit on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go, go for it. First one is Albert Camus, The Stranger. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah which yeah. was the driest book ever written. Like I there was no. I think we are all in agreement here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm That's like, like not everybody pitched it to me like this existential classic, right? And I I'm like, man, I mean, just सपने में ज़्यादा existentialism आता है. हाँ, पता नहीं क्या था ये बीच में वॉक कर रहा है. On a daily basis, yeah. Arab आ रहा है, kill कर रहा है. क्या है? क्यों? क्यों मारा? Why? What is the point? Like he seemed like a sociopath. Yeah. Right. That man, the character was very. Oh, very the French don't like the Arabs. Yeah, 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 it became so that. It became like, that. But yeah. why? What why? is happening? Why did he shoot this man? What yeah. was his yeah. motivation? Yeah, what, what was the point? Now, okay, yeah. yeah, okay, fine. He's in prison, and now he's thinking about all of these things. So, but where, like, his mother? And what is the relationship with the mother? Mother, yeah, like, how are these things related? Kuch how nahi, they kuch relate? Kuch nahi. There's no. Kuch nahi. I don't know why that book is a classic. I it was it was admittedly an easy read though it was, it was not I breezed just through terrible. it but it was just terrible. I just I just didn't feel that I didn't feel it I didn't feel involved. You know again couldn't sorry empathize to empathize with that guy. Sorry to interrupt you, but there's this other adaptation of the, the stranger, stranger called the Merslot Investigation. Uh, okay. I don't remember the again the name of the author. I'm sorry, but And? that is a great kick-ass book really? to you read today saying, yeah? in uh -huh. 2017. It talks about. All the issues of racism, class, everything, and draws it out beautifully. Mm. And that is a book you should read if you didn't like The Stranger because mm. you would love this one. Okay. So I think some adaptations also really work, and they could be modern classics, so to say. Yeah, yeah. The second book is uh, The Great Gatsby. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm saying. I'm sorry. Anything. I just I didn't uh, understand the. Again, see, this is the question of when it was written. It was path breaking, right? Like it. Twenties. Yeah, but oh. uh, I mean now it's just like redundant. Like I don't. It's a nice. But it's a middling story, written in a middling way. And is it because you watched the movie? I haven't watched the movie. Oh, the movie I is also the movie. not bad yeah. at all. I, I haven't watched the movie, but uh, I read. Except for Amitabh Bachchan in it. You should just ignore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Terrible. Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah, totally. uh, yeah. I just it didn't again. It was one of those things where I just couldn't relate to the characters, mm. like the universal themes. Or, like you know, Austin does that really, really well, right? She like, she involves you. Yeah, yeah, she involves you. She draws you yeah. in. Yeah. Gatsby, I felt the same way. Again, it looked like because of the way it was narrated, that I felt very removed from the actual story. But only thing because it is so it overrated. Involved. Like, see, for me, essentially, George R. R. Martin. Because people were talking so much mm. about it. Maybe the hype. Maybe the hype just the killed hype it for me. The hype killed the story. Mm. It just killed it. I just couldn't read it. Mm. Mm. 
I can imagine. So maybe that also happens yeah. with a, a lot of uh, famous classics, so to say. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Like, so. I'm sure a lot of uh, literature students are going to fill our comments with "You guys are dumb." <laughs> no, or maybe they'll agree because they were forced to read these books. I guess. Yeah, like, I was I don't forced know. to like, read a lot. Like who can who can love Ulysses? Maybe five people. I'm sorry. But like yeah. I was supposed to read yeah. Ulysses in uh, English literature class in college, and I just couldn't. I barely passed that exam yeah. because I'm like, why, why? I don't understand. This Dubliners is, is way better than. Yeah. Yeah. Ulysses yeah. And, and you know, since we were talking about reimagined books, Alexander McCall Smith has done a uh, modern day version of Emma, which, oh, really? which really? was really, it was, it was, the only word to describe it is delightful. Is, is it called Emma? Yeah, it's called Emma and wow. it's modern day. And he's actually, because he's updated the language and stuff and changed the setting, it's a lovely read. It's Aisha, not, sorry. Yeah, Aisha, yeah, it's not going to change your life in yeah. any way. It's not really like, oh my god, oh this book is everything, yeah. there. no, yeah. but it's a nice read. Maybe I think what uh, would rescue shitty classic literature from its own tomb is a reimagining. Yes. Yeah. Maybe all maybe of it movie, needs to be maybe another yeah. book. Storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. a play. Yeah. Yeah, so. so many movies do it so well though, they like Omkara. Even in India, even right? Magbul, Magbul did really well. Shakespeare is a universal theme. Yeah, can universal, be redone yeah. at any time, and I think he'll still be relevant to every. Heather. Heather was to Heather cast. was yeah. fantastic. But that because Hamlet is so good, na. So we have to give him the give credit. Him yeah. Hamlet was brilliant. The Bard gets the credit. The Bard gets the credit. Yes. Ha like even those series of plays that uh, Rajat Kapoor does as the clown uh, the company. Mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The uh, this as you like it. There's the Hamlet as well. The Hamlet, the clown the prince. The clown prince. Yeah. It's really interesting. It's basically. So I think he understands that people don't like yeah. or get Shakespeare anymore. So he, it's like a clown company yeah. which is doing the play, but somehow they I've become the them. characters themselves, True. which is funny. so brilliant. brilliant. So you understand that how his far, the far-reaching consequence of reading Shakespeare is to understand and relate to the characters themselves. True. <coughs> what about Indian classics? Do you like any? Don't like any? I like Manto. Uh, I love Manto. I love Manto. I love Manto. I love Manto. Manto. Even Chuktai, for that matter. Chuktai also was brilliant. I was forced to read Leha. In college. I would actually go one step and further. And Tovatik Singh. It was when both are like kick ass stories. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Tovatik Singh. I, lo I like Leha Falls. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, uh, it tackled um, lesbianism. Lesbianism, and at that time. At that time. They wrote yeah. a lot about same-sex love, which yeah. I think as a theme has lost yeah. in time. Yeah. But it was brilliant, and there was no. You should do an episode on same-sex literature. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will. And we'll do, do yeah. it with you. LGBT literature. <laughs> okay, sorry. What about Indian classic literature that you guys didn't like or I, were forced okay, to read? Listen, I, I know he's like very revered and everything, but I can't stand Prem Chand. I mean, I read him in school, I died, and now I can't do. I mean, yeah, you've got two goats and you've got a cow and people are dying, <laughs> and I know, I know there's poverty all around, but it's just not for me. I can't deal with it. Poverty it's, is not for me also. It's okay, yes, it's all right. My heart like goes it. out and all. But 50 pages ke baad heart bhi jata hota. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, bye, see you, take care, nice knowing you. Correct. Yeah, so I can't read Prem Chand and yeah, well. Yeah, I think uh, I hated Tulsi Das. <laughs> it just was like, what is this strange affl affliction of, well, like, he was blind, right? Like he could Yeah, but he wrote only Ramayana, of that I know. <laughs> Tulsi Das? Tulsi Das is Ramayana I've heard of. I don't know yeah. of anything else. No, but it was just a very, very, uh, it was a very black or white story and it had no element of surprise. There was no twist to it. That's because... It was too uh, preachy again. I think that's that's the one problem I do have with just general classic literature that it becomes too preachy. And I think it doesn't leave any room for debate and discussion and you, yeah. I mean, you, you read because you want to be a better person, yeah. right? I mean, it, it, nothing, there's nothing coming out of Tulsi Das, really. Do not read. <laughs> that way I love Tagore, I must yeah. say, Tagore, yeah. except for Choker Bali, which I hate. Mm. The short stories are brilliant. The Home and the World is a brilliant book and he's sort of the foremost feminist, really, I have to say this because his, his women were... Oh, Bengali, were, na? Ha. <laughs> ekdam, uh, woman ke thumb ke niche. So, what is the feminism? Kya hai. <laughs> so, it's, it's great. <laughs> well, read to go there. I know you said thumb, but I heard something. Anyway. Oh, okay oh then. Bobi, Bobi. <laughs> that too. Whatever floats this boat, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I haven't read enough Indian classic. I mean, I don't know. Is Rowenton Mystery a classic? Rowenton Mystery could be a classic now. I don't know. Today, I mean, beautifully classic. written, but again, so sad. Why so sad? Rowenton, like, what's Parsi. Sorry. <laughs> 
but <laughs> but to give credit where it's due, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The, yes. Those stories, they are compelling. You read like a fine balance. You into it. I read a fine balance. No, yeah. such I mean, a long journey. I read such a long journey. Huh. And it was a, it was such a long journey, guys. <laughs> like I was it just was. like, why is everything so sad? <laughs> Very <laughs> sad. <laughs> even even you know, I love Arundhati Roy, and a new book is coming out in June, and I'm so excited. Can't wait, man! Our but God of Small Things. The God of Small Things was very very overwhelming. Pen I didn't hate painful. it. I didn't hate it at all. I didn't hate it. I loved the book. But it was I very difficult to read. I read it. But really? It was I thought not it was easy. very easy to read. Actually, it was not. Again, it it had this like pervasive you sense know, of like there are some gloom. books like you gloom. know. There are some books you can read at a certain age. Yeah. yeah. Like today, I can't read The Catcher in the Rye. I oh, I would no. hate it. I just can't go back to it. I couldn't read it then also. Huh. I'm like, क्या इतना गुस्सा क्यों है यार? नहीं मतलब Fountain Head भी देखना. Uh, but I love Fountain Head. I really mm. love Fountain Head. Yeah, well, I loved it too, but when I was 20, not now. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's a time for all this. I mean, yeah. I also don't want to go and blow up a building and be like, oh, I did yeah. something. Yeah, well, meaningful yeah. about go. blowing a building. But it's not but bad. I love Iron Man. Does uh, no one else think that the fountain head should be the name of a dildo? Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It it should be the name of a dildo. Maybe a name of dildo company. The fountain heads. You ruined my joke. I, I, listen. Iron Man. Iron Man. I love Iron Man. Ah, Iron Man. You do. You do. And you. Why? Happy? Why do you love Iron Man, Sharon? Just it was meaningful for me at the time I read it. And now? It. Now I don't know if I'll read it. Now, but you you don't know if you'll read it, but you love her. I do love her because okay. I think she meant something for me. Can you reread classics? That's another thing. Shakespeare, I can. Shakespeare, you can. Can you reread? Actually, you know what? Gone with the Wind, I don't I can. think I'll be able to reread no. Pride and Prejudice. I can reread. Jane Austen, I can. I can reread Henry James, who most people have a problem reading to begin read. with. Yeah. But I love Henry James, and I can reread Austen. I can reread. I can reread uh, Austen. Chekhov, I love Chekhov. Anton Chekhov, yeah, I can reread. I that. tried reading Northanger Abbey about uh, yeah, like three, four years ago, and I couldn't. Couldn't. I couldn't. Mm. I feel like when you're younger, you also have a lot more patience. Yeah, you're more That's open to things. You're more open to things. You, you, yeah. you read a lot. Do you think the more. problem is us? Have we become cynics and I we can't do it anymore? Anyway. I think we've settled and we've. That we've, says that yeah. we are. We've we become are set in our own ways. No, I think there's just too many opinions floating out there. Yeah. On Twitter, yeah. on right? Facebook, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Every everyone has an opinion, right? I so yeah. we go by that. Yeah. yeah. And I also yeah. don't read as much as I used to. You know, I I when I was 14, I'd come home. Um, we'd have library period, one yeah. period, like yeah, library, one period. Period. library period. And ah. it was me and my friends didn't want to read as much as I wanted to read. So what I'd do is I'd make them get books for me. So I'd nice. take like this battalion of people into the library and like two ekle, two ekle, two ekle, and I'd go home with like four or five books and I'd finish them in a day. You know, just like four books in a day. Yeah. And at that time, you go home at like two o'clock, two thirty. And you have the whole day Evening, yeah, to yeah, just yeah. read, yeah, and that was like joy. Now it's called homework. Not eating. Homework, yeah, man. Such brilliant, the yar, man. Top ten student in all of us, please. I got ninety nine in maths and twelve hundred. Ah, I mean that's why I don't take any classic recommendations. Also, when people give, yeah. yeah. So if you ask them what what should I read, I don't ask that question. I'm like, nay, my research will do. Yeah. I don't want to ask people. So yeah, another another classic I hate. I don't know how people love it. It's three men in a fucking boat. I mean, it's not funny. One second. You don't like three men yes. in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> But what a terrible book, dude. Awesome. Ye kya kitab hai? Three men in a boat, dude. Perfect what setting. Perfect setting, Vivek. <laughs> it is right. <laughs> In the, in the middle of a you, lake, you kind anything of can happen. You walked into that one. I did. Yeah, yeah I you did just now. you opened this door and you're like, Anu, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys read O. Henry's? Uh, yeah, short, short stories. stories. Everybody yeah. has read it. Everyone knows that one story. The last leaf? <laughs> no, not the last leaf. No, no, no. No, um, then that's guy. The one where she cuts her hair and gives him a mustache. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ah, they exchange it. It was the it. Pankaj yeah. Das video. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, oh, guys? God, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. The gift. The yeah, gift the of gift. the. Ayesha, 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 Ayes
ऑन अ साइकिल वो इंडियंस को गोरे बहुत पसंद है वो अभी वो फिक्सेशन है तो अभी क्या करें इससे तो क्लासिक भी पसंद है सब वो भी वो सावली थी ना समीरा रेड्डी तो और बड़ा विन था वो करेक्ट हां लाइक उसको कैसे मिल गया ये उसको मिल गया तो मुझे भी तो मुझे भी मिल सकता है हां मैंने भी सोचा लेकिन मिला नहीं कोई भी So should we come to our clickbait section of the podcast, which is our most fun part of the podcast? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so here we thought we'll possibly try to reimagine all our classic romances as homoerotica. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <yeah. laughs> so let's start with Romeo and Juliet. You can take a stab at it. Who's Who's Romeo's friend? What's his name? Wow. Romeo. <laughs> Bromeo. That's a nice <laughs> title. Bromeo. Bro yeah, I think. Yeah, Plus that's a Romeo nice. Bromeo and Bromeo. No, just Bromeo. Ah, and it's a. Nothing else. It's the same sex. Yes. Yes. I think I'm winning this. Yeah, Bromeo. If this is she, a competition, she, I'm gonna win it. Yeah, she's gonna win it. Bro I'm not even in it. Bromeo. To win it. So. A Midsummer's Night Dream. Wet dream. Yeah. Ooh. A Midsummer Night's yeah. Wet Dream. A mid. No. But that can dream. be straight also. Ah, yeah, but ah, वो भी है. Damn. Puck, Puck maybe is yeah, the Puck star. Is, Puck star is star yeah, of a Midsummer's yeah, Night Dream. Yeah, because Puck is so faggoty. And fairy like. I can say that because <laughs> I'm gay. I'm sorry. I'll say faggot. He's a faggot. He's a fairy. He's a fairy. <laughs> He's a fairy, but it is true. <laughs> a fairy is wet dream. Okay. Fairy is wet dream. Gone yeah. with the wind. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Who? Too many puns. Gone with the wind. और क्या होगा इससे ज्यादा होम एरोटिक आई एम टेलिंग एज अ जोक ओके गॉन विद द विंड इज होम एरोटिक या इट इज इन रिलेशन टू दिस एंड बिकॉज़ वी कैन यूज बैड वर्ड्स बिकॉज़ दिस इज द इंटरनेट ये इंटरनेट दिस डूड इज प्लेइंग डम शराट्स विद हिज फ्रेंड्स ओके एंड ही गेट्स अप एंड ही टेक्स अ फैन एंड ही स्टिक्स हिज बट आउट एंड स्टैंड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ द फैन एंड टेल्स पीपल टू गेस व्हाट मूवी इट इज एंड दे आर लाइक नहीं क्या है हवा कुछ नहीं आता है। He's like shit, you guys suck, and he's like what the fuck is the movie? And he's like Guns of the Wind. <laughs> oh my god! That's a good that title. That is also the, very good title. That is the title of your movie. That's a very home. good title. It's a crossover Indian <laughs> American production. Yes, yes. Guns of the Wind. Anyway, we'll start Rahul Bose. <laughs> so. Okay then. All right. I don't know this. This movie, this, this lady. <laughs> It could also star Ranveer. We Ranbir found her on the street. Or Ranveer Kapoor. Or Ranveer Kapoor. Ranveer Kapoor and Rahul Bose. Who, that, no, Who will now I never come to like our it. podcast? <laughs> I don't like that combination. <laughs> it wouldn't do good. Okay. Um. Wuthering <laughs> uh, Heights. Oh, Wuthering Heights. Please send dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please send nude. Nude. That is, <laughs> that is also the best one-line review of this book. <laughs> it is awesome. Please send dick pic. I want to see Heathcliff's dick. Pic. Kindly, please. Yeah, <laughs> even, even Linton would do a little bit. <laughs> But I think okay. Catherine had a dick in the entire story. She was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a brilliant classic. Sorry, she is so fierce, and I love her. Great expectations. <laughs> that's what happens to me before Stop. a Tinder date. <laughs> But then I realized that you know. That's okay. just life, though. That's yes. that's what happens to me also before a Tinder yes. date. Yeah, mm -hmm. every single every Tinder single date. Time. Every single Tinder date. And you go date. there and you're yeah. like, so basically, Tara Nikla. We're all pip. Okay, this brings us to the end of the another crackling edition of the podcast. Crackling. I like it. <laughs> crackling. <laughs> Where we chat on many classics, <laughs> and if you if you agree or disagree and have a counter view and would like to change our mind. Or really agree with our points? Please share uh, your thoughts with that. Use the hashtag Shitty Classics. Join the conversation on Twitter, Instagram hash. Uh, what is it? Hash. Snapchat. Hash. 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 Hash.